the computer crashed. I'm going to try this again. So I'll click on File and uh, go and Open Recent Project. It's just quicker than opening and going to the folder because it remembers what you were working on. So I'll double click and that will open. So now that it's open, one of the things I also want to do is set the preferences. So uh, you're going to go to the Windows. So the Windows, you click here and you're going to go to Settings and Preferences, Preferences. And in this section, you're going to find File Project. So the first thing we're going to probably want to do is make sure that Autosave is enabled. All right. And Autosave Destination Project. So mine is enabled. So it's sending it to the project and, and therefore uh, you can find them in there. The other really important thing you want to do is undo. So right below here, undo. And you want to make sure undo is on and infinite. You may not have that by default. So it's really important that you set that up. So now I'm pretty happy. I'll click save. I'm ready to start designing the polygon. So I want to start by creating a cube. There are a couple of ways you could create a cube just by clicking here and dragging it in. So that's a, an easy way. But for now, I want to show you another way that's a little bit uh, and control Z always uh, undoes. So everything's lagging here. So you have to apologize for that. But uh, give it a second and it'll disappear. All right, so it's gone. Now I want to go to Create and I want to go to Polygon Primitives. And uh, we want to create a cube. But the reason why we're doing it this way is because we want to make sure a setting is enabled. Because this will matter when we're creating uh, textures and adding images to our... So you want to click on Cube and you want to make sure that this button is turned on. That's really important uh, because it will affect us down the road. So once you have that, just click X and then you can click here and it basically creates your cube. So now there's three hotkeys that I really like. Um, so this is your selection tool and you can tell it's selected. You can tell it's not selected right now because the lines are off. So I will select it. And if I click W, E, R, you're going to see uh, what are the, the tools to reshape stuff in uh, 3D. So here's, this is your move tool, okay? And you also see here that it moves over here. So if I want it on the zero, zero axis, I can't really tell. I just click there and it's perfect. Um, now, what is the other tool, the E? So the E tool, give me a second, it's lagging again, select it. So W, E, and that's your rotate tool, okay? And I'll go Control Z. And your R tool is your resize tool, all right? So if I grab one of these and I pull it, it makes it that way. If I pull it this way and I pull it that way, okay? If I pull from the middle, it'll just make everything uh, grow in the same kind of shape, all right? So I'm going to go Control Z, go back to the beginning, click W. And I want to also show you something that's really useful. So this is uh, what we call perspective mode. Uh, I like to be in what's called quad mode. So you see... Here's your perspective mode, meaning 3D mode. This is your 2D mode. This is uh, the top, okay? This is, and you can see the front of the cube, and this is the side of the cube. And if you're like, well, the color of the arrows will really help you, all right? So this one here is the front. Um, well, maybe the, this one here is the front. Actually, the blue, you can tell down here. And if you want to see the side, so this side. So my front is over here. So one thing that's really useful is, let's say I want th to, to go to this one, I press the space bar. It'll go full size. And one thing I'm going to notice is that it's not perfectly centered. So now I press space bar. I'm going to go here, space bar. Okay, it's perfect. And space bar. So, and then I'm going to go back here and it's perfect. I know it's perfectly centered. So let's pretend I wanted to move it above uh, the ground. What I could do is just click it here. And if I'm not sure and I want to do it by eye, I can see here. So this here is my top, but I want to see the front and I want to see if it's. And I could lower just a little bit more. Now you could technically just do it over here too. But that actually, just so you know, that matches it with the origin point, which is in the middle. So that's kind of misleading sometimes so students sometimes get mixed up about that but let's just leave it that way all right so i'm going to press the space bar again i'm going to go back to perspective mode and that's how i move around in there all right 